Hi everyone, this is just an update video. Um, sorry I haven't done a video in a while, but I've been quite busy. Um, so this is Coral's tank, uh, and as you can see it's kind of changed around a bit. I've got some new plants and changed where the air stone is, and cleaned my rocks. They were really dirty before. Um, yeah, I just wanted to change things around a bit because I'd had those old plants in there for quite a while and it was just getting a bit boring. Um, and it's just nice to change things around to make things more interesting for coral. It's just having some spinach right now. Um, also, I got another Nerite snail. Um, I don't know if, wait, who was there a second ago? I don't know where he's gone. He's quite fast. Oh yeah, he's up here now. <laughs> go around here so you can see his shell. Um, sorry it's not a very good view of him. Um, and here, ah, they keep on moving. Um, there's my other one, my original one. Um, yeah, so I got the new one because there was loads of algae on the bottom of the tank and it was just a bit too tricky to get to. Um, so I just thought I'd get another snail because I like snails. Mm might as well make the most of having algae. Um, so yeah, I'm glad I got him. Um, Coral's doing well. Um, a bit floaty sometimes, but not as bad as he has been before. I'm just trying to feed him more frequently and in smaller amounts, and that seems to be helping a bit. Um, so yeah, I think that's all there is to say about that tank. Go on to this one now. Uh, here's my Siamese fighting fish. He's doing really well. Um, the tank isn't doing as well as he is though, looks wise, because of all the algae that there was and still is on the plants. Um, yeah, I was having my light on for about, um, like five hours every day and that was just too much for a light that strong. So I'm cutting it, I've cut it down to about an hour every day. Um, and sometimes I don't put it on at all, so... Hopefully by doing that, the algae on the plants um, will maybe die off, hopefully. Um, and also I had to take the live plant out that was in the middle because it started um, to die. So I'm going to get a new decoration just to fill up this space soon. Um, yeah, he's doing really well. He isn't as territorial as he was before. Um, and he doesn't really bite my finger anymore when I put it in the tank, um, unless I have food on it. Um, and that's understandable. Um, yeah, he doesn't flare at his reflection anymore um, when I put the mirror to the glass. Um, and I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Um, I th I'm thinking it's a good thing because he has settled in a bit more and he isn't like, he knows that this tank is his now. And also, he doesn't make as many bubble nests as before. Right now, there's no bubble nest in the tank. Because um, he used to do one every week, um, like after a water change, because it kind of got gets destroyed um, when I do a water change. Um, he used to always do one afterwards, but he stopped that now. Um, so I hope that isn't like a bad thing. Um, if anyone like knows why he might be doing that, can you put in the comments, please? Um, but my theory is that he's settled in. He's completely happy now, um, but I'm not too sure about that. Um, but yeah, I think that's all there is to say um, in this update. Oh yeah, also he, he jumps for food now, um, uh, sometimes. I don't do it like every time because that's just a bit too much, but um, yeah, he enjoys jumping for his food. And um, yeah, I think that's the only trick he can do really, because um, he doesn't even flare anymore. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll probably do a video of him um, just jumping for his food, because that's quite nice to see. Uh, yeah, that's all for this update, and um, thank you for everyone for subscribing, and hopefully I'll be doing some more videos soon, um, definitely the one about with him jumping. Um, so yeah, thank you for watching everyone, bye!